This is a brief explanation of spam traffic in Google Analytics and a demonstration of how to deal with it. So what we are looking for is spam traffic that's coming through referrals and causing a unnatural spike in the traffic that's not actually reflective of the traffic that your website is getting. So to do that, I'm going to go over here in the left to acquisition all traffic referrals. And immediately you'll notice there's an absurd huge spike right here. Um, and the reason for that is this spam traffic that you're seeing. So how do I identify where the spam traffic is coming from? Um, here on this screen, I'm going to scroll down. And what we're looking at is traffic sources with a high number of users and sessions, but an absurdly high bounce rate. So you can see here trafficbot.live, which already sounds suspicious, also has a lot of users and sessions, but the bounce rate is almost 100%. So all of this traffic is not actually spending any time on your website. It's just hitting there, leaving a mark in Google Analytics, and then disappearing immediately. So that's the mark of spam bot traffic. And you can see also pages per session is, is 1.0. They're not going to multiple pages. This is not real people exploring your website or, or reading it or checking it out. So we know then that this trafficbot.live is the source of the spam that we're dealing with. So in order to deal with that, we actually have to do two things. And this is just a quirk of how Google Analytics works. Um, the first thing we have to do is segment out this spam traffic from historical data, uh, because the data that's already been collected through Google Analytics is to some extent tainted by this spam. But we can create a segment so that we won't see it in the future. And then the second step is going to be setting up a filter in Google Analytics so that future traffic coming in from this particular URL doesn't even get logged in Google Analytics. So let's look at both of those things. Um, I'm going to go over to Audience Overview, and I'm going to show you I've actually already created the segment that you need for this. So if I have the All User segment and then I say Add a New One, I'm going to check the box here for Filter Out Spam Traffic, and this is one I created. And when I apply that, you're going to see this orange line and remarkably, it matches the blue line perfectly except for this spike because we filtered that out successfully. So how does this work? Um, if you click this little drop down arrow and go to edit, you can see how this segment is set up. And all it is is set up with a condition to filter users and exclude them if the page contains slash traffic bot dot live. Dead simple. So if you encounter problems with another domain in the future other than traffic bot dot live, you can just go in here and click on or and added the other domain there, and you can just save this segment, and that'll work in the future as well. So that takes care of when you're looking at your historical data. If you apply this segment, then you will know that you're looking at the real data and filtering out the spam. Then the other aspect is simply setting up a filter in the Google Analytics account. So to do that, I'm going to go to Admin and go on Filters here. And I already went ahead and set up this filter as well. So if I search for... Um, what did I call it? Your spam, exclude spam from trafficbot.live. So here's the filter that I set up, um, and you can see how this looks. I, I named it this way, and you just have to put in the domain in this format with a backslash before the dot, um, and you're doing a custom filter to exclude based on the request URI. So you can set up as many filters as you need if in the future you end up having problems with spam coming from other referring domains as well. Um, and that should take care of this problem.